Every day. I like to say it's not, but uh, we find things every day. They're not exterminators, but they deal with a lot of pests. U.S. Customs and Border Protection agriculture specialists are tasked with stopping infestations. In this case, it was cow peas coming from Nigeria, which wouldn't ordinarily be allowed in and permissible. Uh, but the inspector saw signs of, of certain pests. Inside the two pounds of cow peas that arrived at Baltimore, Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, two live adult copper beetles, one dead immature larva, and several cast skins. It's, it's a very destructive pest. Um, it, it mostly affects a lot of stored products, dried grains, and, um, and that's where probably we would see the biggest effect uh, as, as far as harmful effects. So it, it would affect our ability to, to store food, um, our ability to, uh, to market those goods, to export goods. Capra beetles reproduce quickly, are able to survive for long periods without food, and can tolerate insecticides and fumigants. It's the only pest that prompts regulatory action even when the beetles are dead. We do what we call safeguarding. So it's either putting in some sort of sealed container or sealed bag. Um, and once we're done with the inspection or uh, whatever, whatever other uses we have with it, all those products are put into um, a container to be incinerated at an approved incinerator. Finding capra beetles isn't common. Previous infestations, including one that cost California $11 million in 1954, led to long-term control and eradication efforts. We have put in export restrictions on those countries. Um, so we do find them less frequently, but, but we still find them occasionally. Four live adult capra beetles, 12 live larvae, along with several dead larvae and cast skins were found in rice at Dulles Airport. That food was also incinerated. We're live tonight from BWI, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.